Hello and welcome to War Mongrels. And if you would like to check out this game, there is a link in the description. This video is kindly sponsored and this is set in World War II on the Eastern Front. And this is going to be a dynamic tactical stealth game. You can also play it in co-op, which is actually pretty awesome. Anyway, we're going to be playing the campaign today and we're going to see what it is all about so you can see here there are 12 chapters by the looks of things you can play on a variety of different difficulties as you can see right here you've got very easy easy normal hard and challenge don't even get me started on challenge i think i'm never going to be able to do this not in a million years challenges are unlocked oh <laughs> the difficulty level cannot be changed after the game has started main characters are mere mortals and it shows in their stats enemies have a serious bone to pick with you and friendly fire is on challenge mode can only be enabled before starting the chapter tutorials are also disabled so that's for people that are very familiar with the game very good at it and so on and uh, i'm actually partially thinking whether i should even play on easy because it is a pretty challenging game there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of difficulty curve but once you've got once you got it it's going to be very smooth and a lot of fun to play but for me right now i'm going to go for normal i suppose and we're going to start chapter one cowardice manfred ralph i'd like to hear the story about you and your companions in detail we have plenty of time as you may expect, I'm not particularly happy to share all this. I, I've tried to forget everything for the last 10 years. Yet I swear on my honor, I'll be truthful. I wish to release this story. Please, proceed then. <clears throat> it began in June 44, when the Allied forces successfully landed in France and had already taken a lot of territory from us. At the time, we were also losing our war on the Eastern Front. Ivan was hitting us hard. We already knew our fight was hopeless, but the Fuhrer stubbornly tried to save his face at our expense. We've been on Eastern Front lines for three years already. Three long and horrible years. Everything was different at that point. Do you know what it's like to live day to day with a constant feeling that you're already dead to this world? Me and Avald witnessed terrible atrocities during the withdrawal of our forces. I couldn't comprehend how they applied the principles and dignity of German soldiers. Us. up in Strap Battalion, a penal company. And this is how it all started. We're close to our destination, you maggots. Maybe you will earn back some of your soldiers' honor. Ivan set a minefield on our left flank, but our artillery have pushed them back. You are ordered to clear the minefield as it is the only way for our forces to withdraw. Avon, put your fucking helmet on your brainless head! Ah, but should say Avon doesn't want to live anymore, sir. Sir, I don't care about my brainless head, sir. Scheiße is coming from their side. Driver schnell! Incoming artillery fire! Oh, 
right, so here we go. This is where we first gain control of our characters. And you can actually use Control A, which I absolutely love. I love the fact that you can use that to control your characters at once because there are going to be many moments ahead of time where you're going to need to select both of them in a hurry. And you can't just go F1, F2 all the time. So Control A, really, really fast, nice way of doing things. Also, there's prone position and you can press space to get back up and start running. And here we go. So we've got sprinting, we've got sprinting, we've got different uh, different stances that we can go in and there's also cones of vision and stealth. As I said at the very start, this is a dynamic stealth action game and we're going to have to be very aware of pretty much everything around us. There's going to be patrols, there's going to be distractions and everything. And as you can see, look at this. Boom, there we go. We took him down with our bare hands because this guy is really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. You see that motorcycle? Let's get it and get the fuck out of here. No, wait, wait, wait. We have just deserted the army. Any of our patrols could get us jailed. Oh, right. We need to get rid of our uniforms. Russian ones are a bad idea. <laughs> We've got to find some peasant clothes. All right, so the first thing we need to do, as you can tell, is to get some civilian clothes. And how are we going to do that? Well, there's going to be a huge amount of different places for us to tackle our opponents. So, for example, let us... Click on this guy, and then you can see his field of vision. And his field of vision is, of course, going to be continuing to sweep over these areas. And, of course, there are a wide variety of different objects that I'm actually going to be able to pick up, too. So, for example, boom, this moonshine bottle right here. Avold is obviously going to be picking this up. And he can use this to absolutely wonderful effect. You'll see what I mean. like that exactly so he can basically throw the bottle it's going to lure a soldier there and then he's going to be able to take it down and now there is sound detection in this game as well so for example when you attack someone there is a certain sound value associated with that so for example avold himself using his fists it's not really going to provide huge amounts of sound. So you can actually attack enemy soldiers around a pretty similar similar way as the uh, as 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 you know they're very close to each other. You can attack them very close to each other. Anyway, we're, we're just going to try and lure another one here. Just going to try and get away a little bit, and then we're going to go and we're going to punch him. Well, we're not going to punch him, we're just going to break his neck, apparently. And we can also pick up dead bodies. So, obviously, picking up dead bodies very, very important, because we're going to need to be sneaky and stealthy. All right. So, yes. Otherwise, now we have to kill these silently. And, well, how do we do that? How do we do that, you ask? Well, uh, the best thing that I can actually do... We can select the, this guy, as you can see, so we can see exactly where he is looking. The best thing that I feel like I can do, let's actually, wait a minute, oh no, I don't want to go, <laughs> I don't want to go over there. Okay, let's actually see where this guy's looking. Okay, so he will look at this guy. He will look at this guy. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do something like, something like this. There we go. And now he's going to move like so. And then we can just take him down and he's going to be out of this fellow's field of view. So that's basically a, uh, a pretty basic way of eliminating enemies early on. And as far as I'm aware, you don't actually need... I, I don't think you need to use the bottle all the time. I think you can basically just go up to people as much as you want really, really quickly and then just take them down. 
that obviously if you want to be sure of you know your kill and not have to struggle because there is a struggle mechanic as well in the game see those two i bet i could take them at once all right, yeah, so here we go. So anyway, the struggle mechanic, what I mentioned before, is basically when an opponent is ready to defend himself. In other words, when you go up to that person, when if you're doing it from behind or from the side, they're not going to be ready to defend. But if they are from the front and they have their weapon out, then they're going to be ready to defend. And then dependent on a variety of things, for example, strength modifier, I think there is a... I mean, for, for example, Avold is very good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, whereas Manfred is not good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. So in those kinds of situations, the enemy soldier is probably going to beat Manfred in comparison to Avold, where he'll probably end up winning. Anyway, Brawl is going to be activated in just a second, so let's do exactly that. Boom. This is exactly what's going to happen. There's a guy up there. He'll see you. I'm quite a climber. I can take him down. Best of luck, then. Ah, here we go. All right, yeah. So, of course, we're going to need to use different characters to accomplish different things. Thankfully, these soldiers are not going to be able to see me climbing up these vines, and so I'm just going to climb up here with Manfred, and we're actually going to be tackling this guy he has a knife and uh, as i said before every single you see that white circle around my little selector here that is the sound indicator for a particular weapon so from for example me using the knife it has a pretty wide radius and as a result it will tell people that you're nearby if you are not careful thankfully he's now dead and now we can uh, actually use a brawl, and that's what we're going to do. There we go. Easy. Look at that. Super, super nice and easy. So he threw the bottle at one of them and then just punched the other one. And now we can get Manfred down, and we can obviously rotate the camera however you like, and zoom in and out and everything. And there's, this, there's also a mini-map, which I think is actually super, super nice. Anyway... Aha, yep. All right, yeah, so Manfred has a watch. This is very, very similar to uh, to the bottle, but it is reusable. So you can see here, the music box in Manfred's watch will attract the enemy in its direction. When the enemy picks it up, kill him. Otherwise, he will summon his closest companions to boast about it. So there is a small time limit associated with this. So big risk, but also big reward, because you might very well have some issues. Okay, so throw the pocket watch here. That's exactly what we're going to do. There we go. And we're going to get this guy to come around. And then we're probably going to end up stabbing him. So as soon as this guy picks it up. He's put his weapon away, you see. And now he's picked it up. And now, boom. Oh, I actually didn't even need to use the bare hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was actually just, uh, just going for it, apparently. Okay. Didn't need to use bare hands. But uh, technically, I could have if I wanted to, but we're just going to take this body over here and just put it down right there. And then we're just going to pick up this. So yeah, now they're teaching us about the whole, you know, skills being noisy thing. So pay attention to their respected noise indicators. This is shown as a white circle, like I told you before. So yeah, there's also that. Anyway, Avold is absolutely fantastic at stealth kills. And I will show you exactly what I mean just now. So look at this. Boom. He just punched that guy out, and boom, he's going to break that fellow's neck. And there's nothing to worry about, because as I said to you before, his noise production is extremely minimal, and it's very easy to use his skills in conjunction with stealth gameplay. So it really makes a huge difference. Whereas Manfred, on the other hand, his knife, very noisy for some reason, so it is going to make things more difficult. Anyway, we can lure this fellow, um, but it, again, this is going to be one of those times where what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use the knife, actually not use the knife, use the pocket watch, and then we're going to have to use Avold to attack, because if we do it the other way around, it's not going to work. So we're going to do it like this, switch to Avold, and then we're going to have to attack him. There we go. Let's just go for him. Boom. Nice little neck break right there. And there's actually a bottle there as well, so that's going to be kind of useful for us. So I'm just going to try and see if we can do this. Let's throw this over 
Uh, hmm, this is a little bit tricky. Let's do this roundabout here and let's just try it out. Because if he puts away his weapon, I think we'll have a much easier time. There we go, he's picking it up. Okay, let's do it. Boom. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, okay, we, yeah, we've been seen. All right, yeah. Oh, 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 no, actually, never mind. Never mind, I actually won the struggle and now they have been reset. Okay. <laughs> I think they've been reset at least. Let's cross our fingers and hope. Because I was actually hoping that he would pick up the pocket watch and then I'd be able to tackle him. But yeah, apparently that was not really going to work. Okay, so now we now we have some issues. Okay, so I'm going to have to get out of here real fast. Just to make sure. So yeah, as you can see, when the opponent has a weapon drawn, a melee attack may fail and the hero will be pushed back. While wrestling with the opponent, the other hero can help by attacking him. a -Volt always wins close combat attacks. So that's exactly what I was talking about earlier, where he's just really, really good at what he does. All right, so we're just going to actually make our way over here. This is going to be pretty easy for us to deal with once we have picked up all of this stuff. So let me just pick up my resources. There we go. And now technically what we could do is, I think, do we have that ability just yet? I don't think we have that ability just yet, but technically later on down the line, what you can actually do is you can have simultaneous action. In other words, both of your uh, both of your units here can actually attack at the same time. But as it stands, we are not actually able to do that. So I'm going to have to use my bottle here to brawl, I think. Or... Hmm. Or I could do... I could do a knife attack on one and then punch the other. That might work. Let me actually see whether this is going to work. If it doesn't work, there are very forgiving checkpoints, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But um, yeah, it's a little bit a uh, little bit risky for me to do this. Okay, wait a minute. This guy, ah, never mind. This fellow is going to be able to hear the stabby stab. Actually, no, he won't hear this one. Okay, I have to swap them around. Let me... Let me just see here. I want to save the bottle. That's the main reason why I'm doing it this way. So let's actually see if I can do this. So let me see. This guy. Okay, ready? Let's go. There we go. Nice. Whew. That actually worked much better than anticipated. I thought to myself, oh no, I'm going to have some issues. But no, no, no. It seems like we are actually fine. And there we go. And aha, yes. Okay, so Manfred also has the ability to whistle. And this is actually going to allow us to lure guards around corners. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're just going to whistle here. Boom, boom. And he's going to come around. And thankfully, Avold is ready. Let's do this. There we go. He sees the bodies. That's absolutely fine because we can take him down. And then this fellow is going to get lured once again. He's going to see the bodies, but that's fine because then he's going to panic and he's going to be like, oh, what's what's going on here? You know, what's going on here? And hopefully he's going to come this way. Oh, he's going to struggle with me, but Avold is absolutely fine. He's going to win this. There we go. And there we are. All right. So this is what I was talking about. Planning mode, you can queue one action per hero and execute it at the same time. Okay, so this is absolutely perfect. I love this. Uh, this is really, really fun in my opinion. And what we're going to be doing is we're probably going to do something like so. And then we can do this like that. Just want to make sure that we're not uh, telling this guy that we're here or anything. And now we can press enter to execute the plan. And there we have it. Boom. Really nice. I did that in real time, actually, without the planning mode. So I, I think I can pat myself on the back a little bit. Just a, just a little bit, you know, just a little. Anyway, we, we now have the ability to get these civilian clothes, which is exactly what we're going to do. So hey, there we go. He's on quick. Someone as big as me lived here? Damn. Would be good to get some firepower, too. We'll borrow Ivan's guns. All right, so uh, now we have the ability to use guns as well. So we can now pick up some guns. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So Avold is capable of using an MP40, and Manfred is going to be using a Mauser, which is obviously a pistol. So let's just do that. I believe it, isn't it? Isn't it a pistol? Oh, I'm picking up a, I'm picking up a body. Let's not pick up the body. Thank you very much. Isn't it a pistol? 
I actually thought it was a pistol. No, apparently it's a it's a rifle. Oh, okay. Never mind. I am uh, I am incorrect. Very good. Okay, wait a minute. Can I pick this up? Huh. There we go. They're using German weapons. Must be really far away from their supply lines. This will come in handy. There we go. All right. So we now have everything that we need. And we have ammo for the, for our guns as well. And now all we need to do is we need to steal a motorcycle and run away. But uh, this is where things get a little bit more difficult. So let's see how we can do things. Let's do a little whistle here. Avold is obviously going to get ready for this. Nice little punchy punch. There we go. And we also have collectibles in the world as well. So, for example, we have a collectible right here, and I can pick that up straight away. And there we have it. Look at this. Yes, look at that. And now we can read it. Enjoy the peaceful work. Peaceful work is the wish of every German soldier, and so on and so forth. So you can read that if you want to, but obviously you can just collect it yourself and read it in your own time. And, uh, yeah, otherwise we now have a massive amount of soldiers between us and the motorcycle. We need to find a way to eliminate this guy. This is not going to be that difficult. As you can possibly tell, this is going to be pretty easy because all we need to do is hide this corpse over here. And then we're just going to be going over in this direction. And then we can just do a little whistle. And that's all that we really need to go for. So a nice little whistle will draw this fellow over here. And Avold, oh yeah, he's waiting. He is waiting to take this guy down. Oh yes, let's do it. There we go, nice little punch. Oh, oh, this guy, oh, this guy saw. Okay, this guy saw. Let me actually just run all the way over here. Okay, wait a minute. We might have some issues right now. I'm actually wondering whether this guy is going to come around here or whether he won't. Can I, can I whistle at him? Oh, I can actually whistle at him. Let me whistle right now. Maybe he's going to come over. I'm a bit worried that he's going to get reinforcements. I can only hope that he won't. Wait a minute. Is he... Is he actually... Oh, he's coming. He's coming. All right, let's do this. Nice. Okay. Struggle. That's absolutely fine. Boom. We win that every single time with Avold, so we don't have to worry about it in the least. I should have really hid the body, first of all. That, that was a... Actually, I should have waited. Oh, yeah. That's what I should have done. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. That's not a not a big deal. All right, so we've cleared out uh, both of those fellows, which is not too bad. But now I think we're probably going to have to go a slightly different way. So we're going to have to go this way because we've already eliminated this fellow that was overlooking our path into this area, and we're going to have to do a little whistle again, probably over here. Because bear in mind, as you can see, there's a wall here. So I need to need to be a little bit careful about this. So let me just place a vault here. Manfred can actually do a little whistle. Let's do one like that. There we go. And he's going to bring out his... Yeah, he's going to bring out his weapon, which is a little unfortunate. But again... Oh, there we go. Whew, that was a little bit worrying. Manny, but seriously, why didn't you pull the trigger back then? Evald, shut up. You were propaganda's pretty boy. Two years ago, you would rat on me for any reason. I just thought it was going to be different. Different from what? The movies you saw? The books you read? Evald, I didn't expect they would order me to shoot people with no actual reason. <laughs> you know, you volunteers are naive as hell. Evald, shut up. Yeah, we've got some actually very, very good voice actors in this game as well. So I'm, I'm very much enjoying the story as we progress through this level. Anyway, so as I said before, you see this? Yeah, this basically tells you everything you need to know. So the dashed lines where uh, are where we can crawl. So we can crawl unnoticed through the dashed lines. And he is basically always looking over here with very, very little time in between. What about this guy, though? As you can see, this guy is pretty static. So what we can do with him is we're probably going to go this way, right? We're probably going to go this way around here. And then we're going to maybe take him down. Let's take a look at this guy. Whoa, okay, yeah, that might be slightly problematic. 
Maybe we'll be able to whistle. Yeah, we might be able to whistle and get him around. But the best thing for us to do is just try it out. So let's uh, let's go into a crawl. I could technically go around, but I don't think that's really going to get me much. As, as you can see, if I go here, it's not really going to get me much. So yeah, anyway, let's go through here. And uh, hmm, I'm actually wondering where I can go. Hmm. Can I actually... Ah, we need to cut this fence. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to be slightly problematic. I'm very pleased that I saved my bottle. That is the one thing that is going to be pretty useful for us. Ah, okay. Uh, hmm. What can I do here, actually? Because if you... If you see here, this guy is going to see us if we get up. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here is a blind spot. It's a blind spot for this guy too. Yeah, blind spot for this guy. And this is also a blind spot for this fellow. So we can basically stand here. And then we can get this fellow to run around. Maybe we can actually use the pocket watch. We might be able to do something like that. So I'm going to stand up. I should probably quick save, to be honest. Let me actually just quick save right now. Boom. There's the quick save. Okay. Let's, ha let's have a look. Let's see how, how this is going to go. So, if I do... No, I can't do that. That is, that is pointless. Uh, that is also pointless. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to see this guy's vision. Okay, so we need to get this guy over here. Otherwise, he's, this fellow is going to see us, like, easily. Um... <laughs> Okay, that, that is that is problematic. That is problematic and a half. Hmm. Actually? No, I th okay, I think I got it. Okay, I think I got it. We, what we can do is we can do this. We're going to go here instead. Ooh, I was really hoping that we wouldn't have this fellow be annoying. Okay, yeah, this guy's going to be really annoying. Maybe I can whistle to get him around? Ah, well, whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah I, I I don't know. Uh, oh, no, oh. Oh, dear. Okay. Never mind. Quick save. Uh, quick, well, quick load, shall we say? Okay, let me... Let me just uh, get here. All right, so... <laughs> how are we going to do this? That's the question. I can I can whistle. Let's whistle. Okay. Well, whistling doesn't seem to have actually uh, worked for us very well, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna have to do, in my opinion at least, is we're gonna have to get rid of some kind of uh, some kind of enemy. So, for example, if I maybe shoot this guy over here maybe i'm going to be able to do that obviously he's you know they're all going to see right they're all going to see this but i mean shooting is not a good idea in my opinion but i'm having a hard time actually seeing where we need to go and what we need to do because you could see this i mean maybe i can Maybe I can actually... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I might be able to use the bottle. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna see if this works. Uh, let's do something like this. This guy sees how far? Okay, he sees there. This guy is here. So this is pretty much the only place. Okay, so if I move here, that should be fine, right? Yep, that is okay. So let's use the bottle. And he's going to be looking that way. What about these two? That guy's looking this way as well. But this is pretty, pretty much a safe area right here. Apart from this guy, of course, but... Yeah, I guess we're just going to try it. Let's see. No, that, that doesn't do it. All right. 
yeah, as I, as I thought. Yeah, he, he needs he needs vision on this. All right, we're doing, yeah, we'll just quick load. That's the reason why I was like, yeah, let's just quick save here because I'm pretty sure we're going to have some issues with it. I have no idea what to do. So let's actually see. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I can just crawl by. No, I can't crawl by, as you can quite clearly see. I can't crawl by because this guy has a huge problem here. Hmm. We can... We can try to throw something. We can try to throw the pocket watch maybe over here. That's basically going to be the only thing I can really think of. And then we can take Avold over there and try to try to do something. I guess. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah. That is also not re... Oh, wait, wait. We, we might, we might, I don't know, no, 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 we, we might be, we might be okay. Um, no, <laughs> no, no, okay. We are not okay. We are certainly not, uh, okay. Oh yeah, now I just misclicked. Okay, now, uh, yeah, now, but now bad things are happening. Oh uh, yeah, no, no, they're happening, they're happening. All right, okay, so we need to cut the fence so let me see if I wait a minute so this guy can definitely see from all the way over there and what can we do because we can't really get by that easily I can't use the pocket watch because here's the thing look at this this is where the pocket watch is I can't really I mean I could throw that here but again I mean maybe I can throw it here no that's also that's also not going to work. So what if I move him over here a little bit more? Then I might have a bit of additional range. Ah, now that's looking pretty good, actually. That's looking decent. Let's throw like so. Let's get Avol to uh, go over there. There we go. All right. Ooh, okay. That is... That is a tricky one. That is a real tricky one. Okay, very good that we were able to do that finally. And now we can also eliminate this guy in just a second. Very pleased that we were able to do that. Very worried, actually, at the same time. But there you go. We were able to do it. And there's actually a collectible in there, right? Yeah, I believe there's a collectible, isn't there? I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to just go and see what that is. Yeah, indeed. It is, a, it is a collectible. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, whatever the case, let us now sneak up on this guy. And we will eliminate him. Easy enough. Boom. There we go. And we'll take his body. And we're just gonna take him over here. And he can he could be with his he could be with his friend, you know, he could just he could just relax a little bit. There we go. Alright, perfect. And now we can just do brawl and then we can uh, we can hopefully leave. I'm not sure how we're supposed to steal the motorcycle though with this guy standing right there. So, I'm not sure whether we want to brawl or whether we want to do a planned attack. Maybe a planned attack would be better. Maybe that would... That might actually make more sense. Okay, let's actually have a look. So, yeah, this guy is the only one that we really need to deal with. Let's get Manfred over here, actually. Because we're going to need his assistance. Okay, so let's get both of them over here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, let me... Let, let, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quick save. Just because I literally do not want to go through that nail-biting stealth section again. Alright, let me see. Alright. We're going to go... Okay, we're going to go like so. So let's do this. Let's attack here. Let's attack here here that should be fine right yeah that should be fine let's do it nice all right perfect absolutely perfect okay so uh manfred also has a bolt cutter by the looks of things as well so he can cut through things like barbed wire fence or power cables bear in mind all of these things that, that these characters are getting they are going to be incredibly important as time goes on and bear in mind 
the game will probably not remind you that you have these things. So you're going to have to be a bit more aware of, you know, each of these, each of these abilities. So Manfred has the ability to go through here. Where was he hiding the bolt cutters? I don't know, but uh, somewhere. That's all I can say. Anyway, now a bottle. So the bottle is going to be pretty useful for us here. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get this guy to come over because I don't think... Okay, wait a minute. Oh, behind the fence. Oh my. Oh, okay. Combat mode is more dynamic than classic mode. Choose both characters and enter combat mode by pressing C. Move the character with WSD and kill enemies by pointing at them with the mouse. Okay. Whoa, that's that's interesting. Okay, I'm actually so somewhat surprised. So, where do they want me to shoot from? Behind the fence? Do we want to sneak? I assume we want to sneak somewhere, don't we? I mean, surely the bottle can be used to, to get this guy over here, right? Or no? Because if we can get this guy over here, then that's all that we really need to do. But, the, I mean, the game obviously wants me to, you know, do it the uh, do it the old-fashioned way. So let me actually just have a look-see here. I don't see how I can shoot them from here. Hmm. I'm, I'm a bit worried, to be honest. I'm a bit worried about doing this. Kill all enemies. Oh, it actually says that I have to... Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, can we actually activate them at the same time? No. Okay, so... So I can shoot this guy. I wonder whether uh, Avold is going to be doing a similar thing. Okay, so I can shoot this guy right now. Okay, let me let me be very careful here. Got him dead. Behind the behind the fence. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Oh no, I'm reloading. Avold, can you help me, sir? Where is he? Why did what? Why did he come all the way back here? Was I supposed to do that? I guess I was supposed to do that. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. I did not realize that that was what they intended me to do. So, in other words, they wanted me to go over here and shoot them from here, I guess. Right? Yeah. Shoot them from here. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I'm not sure whether that's necessary, but I, I, I mean, I, I kind of had a pretty decent, pretty decent time shooting. Um, so let's let's actually just try that again. I'm just going to try it again like so. Okay, I'm going to need to reload. Yeah, he, there we go. He got him. Okay, he got the rest. I can't see anything. Oh, did he die? Oh, no, he died. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, fine, fine. Right, okay. I guess we're going to have to go... I still don't understand what they meant with uh, with with fence, but I mean there, there's a fence here, but there's a fence here, but there's stuff there, so I can't really see. But maybe here is what they mean. I'm not sure. I I am really very very much not sure. So uh, yeah, my bad, my bad. Anyway, let me see if I can just do this. Okay, so we're just gonna shoot like so. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to move away a little bit. There we go. And there are people behind me, so I'm just going to move this fellow, and he's going to get ready. And there we go. We did it. All right. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a lot easier than anticipated. But, uh, yeah, obviously for me, <laughs> I had some issues. Let's just say that. All right, there we go. So I'm just going to pick that up, try to reload a little bit just in case it actually matters. And then we can get both of these guys. Hey, Bob, come on. You drive. I'm next. Let's just get the hell out of here. I'm tired as hell. All right. So uh, I actually did it, amazingly enough. 
And uh, there we have it. We unlocked character bios for both of our units right there. And we also unlocked another article. Let's continue to chapter two, Breaking Point. It was only after the adrenaline rush when I realized what we had got ourselves into. As deserters, we had no future and no home to return to. Not at least until the war ended, if at all. We were dead men walking. I lost my purpose. The dream of freeing the world from Bolshevik ideals was a lie. When I joined the Wehrmacht, I imagined myself becoming a hero. I was to be nothing but a murderer of the innocent. They've all didn't care much where we were going. For now, he just wanted to get as far away from the Eastern Front as possible. So we traveled west, for hours on end. But for me, survival was not enough. I knew I needed to find a reason to keep going. Damn bikes. They consume gas like a fucking panther. We're lucky there's a village close. It didn't happen in the middle of nowhere. Okay. We have some SS stationed here. It's Einsatzgruppen? We're not even trying to talk to them. See that barn over there? I bet they keep supplies inside. Yeah, looks like it. I'll try to break in. Let's move. You still got that booze? Looks like they've started a party already. Yep, I refill it any time I can. Huh. <laughs> Out of Perviton? Uh, yeah. For two days. Well, I stopped taking that shit back at Leningrad. If they didn't resupply it right after, I would die out of exhaustion anyway. Alright, so here we go. A completely new level, and this is going to be so much more open-ended. We're going to be able to approach problems and situations from any angle that we so desire and so anyway let's uh, let's take a quick look and see exactly what's going on so we have a, a, a person that's actually patrolling around here maybe we want to deal with him first and we can also hide in bushes as you can see when they crawl you can also hide a body in the bushes too all right so let me actually oh, oh hello okay that guy is very very on the lookout basically <laughs> that is uh that is going to be very difficult for us to deal with maybe uh this guy's also looking hmm okay groups of enemies function as a single organism they move in a given formation and react to decoys together if there is an officer in the group the rest of the soldiers assume the officer's characteristics okay that's good to know too all right, so the best thing I can do is just move from here. Let's see what's happening here. This guy can obviously see me. All right, yeah, well, I'm going to get absolutely murdered here. I'm just going to walk into them so that they kill me. So <laughs> we can just restart straight away. Oh, my. All right. Yeah, that's absolutely fine, though. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So if I go here, no, they can see me through there. That's not particularly good. So let's not do that. So if we go this way instead... This guy can see me like so, but if I go a little bit further away, then he shouldn't be able to. All right. Does Do we have a bottle? Yeah, we do have a bottle available to us. Okay, so if I go in the bushes here... Okay, so those two are actually talking with each other. But I can't... Oh, wait, what? Are you serious right now? Are you serious that they could see me while I'm in the bushes? Okay. Well, uh... I, th I thought that we were act actually fine there, but apparently we weren't. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I won't do that again. I guess we need to continue sneaking, I suppose. All right, so wait a minute. What we can do is I'm going to just throw a bottle right here. There we go. He's going to see that. And then we will hopefully be able to tackle him. There we go. Nice and easy. 
There we go. Perfect. And now we definitely want to move over here. I'm just going to be I'm just going to go with one person for the moment just to make sure that we're we're all good, you know. And uh, this guy is looking like this. Okay, technically what I could do is I could use brawl here, which might actually make sense considering there is a bottle right behind them. So I'm thinking maybe we want to do that. Oh. Oh, oh, he's he's seen a body. Okay. Oh, he's seen a body. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's uh, let's get Manfred over here. Actually, maybe we can. Maybe we can stab him or something. When he turns around, maybe we can get him. Oh, never mind. Let's get him. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whew. Yeah, we definitely needed to hide this body. That was my bad. Oh well, never mind. It's absolutely fine though because, as you can quite clearly tell, he didn't actually. Uh, he didn't actually do anything, so that is perfect. There we go. And we're just going to leave Manfred over there. And now we will continue with my plan of brawling with these guys. Nice. Okay. Uh, oh, oh dear. Okay. Problematic. Problematic situation abound. All right. We're going to have to quick load that real quick. There we go. Yes. Quick load. Quick load. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, so that guy is going to see us. And I should really take this corpse away before the patrol gets over here. Are you serious? Did you, how, how is, I, I'm, I'm sorry, how does he see me in the bushes? Am I supposed to crawl in the bushes even though they are uh, very large? It doesn't... I, I don't know why that would be the case. But okay, fine. Right. I will just make sure that that is indeed the case this time around. So we will then place this corpse in these bushes instead. Instead of the other ones. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, I, I, okay, I, I'm not sure if I agree with that. I would like to see uh, me be able to stand in here personally, but okay, apparently I can't. Okay, let me just, you know, take this guy down. Should be easy enough. Boom, there we go. And maybe... See, now, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this now. Maybe we can... Ah, yeah, maybe we can do something like this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Both of them are coming. Oh, and, and then they looked over? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Not in a million years. I thought to myself, yeah, you know what? They're not gonna... They're not gonna come over there like that, are they? But they did. Okay, very interesting. Let's just do this. Can I, can I actually eliminate these guys? It's highly unlikely, right? I mean, if I can eliminate them, can I brawl? I mean, I can brawl, technically. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to have to get Manfred over here, actually. I'm going to need him to help me with this plan. Okay, uh, let me see now. How are we going to do this? Okay, let's go into planning mode real fast. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to knife this guy and then we want to use brawl on the ones in the back. That's basically how we're going to do things. So let's knife him and let's use brawl on these two. Like so. That's basically what we're going to do. All right, let's see if it works. Down. Fred. <sighs> what? I'm hungry. Huh? I'm not your mama. My mama died ten years ago. Are you my new mama? Oh, that shooting makes me jumpy. Removing the body. All right, we're just going to take the bodies over here. And I should probably reload. Can I? Can I get more? Yes, there we go. I've got some more ammunition, and we should pr pr we should probably just literally take all of these and put them in here. To be honest. That sounds like the best possible plan. Because you never know. Maybe there are going to be some people that will mosey on over here and then be like, Oh, what's going on here? There's three bodies. You know, that's going to be pretty awful. Anyway, let me see if I can actually just reload a little bit of Avold's ammo. 
besides our comrades. Okay. Ooh, that was close. That was real close. I thought to myself, I'm gonna get seen. Oh, what? Why did he? Why did he? Why did he stand up? Why did he stand up right there? I must have double clicked by mistake. All right, all right, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, let's just move like so. I want to eliminate one of these patrols if at all possible. I'm just gonna stay away from this area for the moment. I don't think that that's a particularly good idea for me to go anywhere there. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna need to wait for this guy. If he turns around and oh wait, wait no no. Uh, Wait a minute, where's the other guy coming? Yeah, he's coming from here. This guy can see us from here. So th from here, this is all kill zone. We can do all all kinds of all kinds of cool things as soon as this fellow has moved. So let's just do this. There we go. And let's eliminate him because he's obviously going to turn around. As you can see, thankfully, the struggle is not bad at all as you see that and can we please pick up that thank you i need to very quickly get over here otherwise bad things will happen okay wow i can't believe i actually did that without getting seen because obviously the bushes if you're standing in them they can still see them so yeah they can still see you should we say and this guy over here, that one was causing us the, the main problems. Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing again. Going to have to be a bit careful. Oh, oh, he can see me. Why did he, why was he able to see me that time? Oh no, that was very scary. Okay, so yeah, now, now we can do this, but I'm going to do this a slightly different way this time. Oh, can I not? Uh, oh, wow. Okay. I can't go over there. Ooh, problematic problematic okay that's that's fine though that's fine let's actually just have a look see here maybe i can actually get around nope nope that is not gonna work so i'm actually just gonna dump him here by the looks of things because there's no way otherwise i'll be able to get around can i do something here though i can do a distraction potentially hmm i need to get over to the barn which is over here need to get over there all right if we can... Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, no, that's clear view. That's a clear view right there. That's going to be way too difficult for us. This guy's coming over in this direction, but he shouldn't be that much of a problem. All right, wait a minute. Okay, ah, got it. Okay, so we're just going to crawl straight on by. That is literally all we need to do. So just crawl straight on by, and then we're going to have a wonderful little little conversation with this guy right here the one that's facing away from us right now and oh wait a minute this guy can see him oh I, I didn't see that guy before okay wait a minute okay well I can basically just walk on or crawl on shall we say don't need to eliminate him I could eliminate this guy though that might be kind of cool oh wait gotta be a bit careful here Let's take him down. Nice. Do we have any... Uh... <laughs> yeah, we do have some bushes over here. But I'm a bit worried about this guy. He can't see. No, no, he's not doing anything. So we're just going to put this here. Oh, no. Get down, get down. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, we're fine. Whew, that was close. All right, that was a little bit too close for my liking. So I'm going to get out of there as soon as I can. And now let's have a look at what's going on here. Okay, so this is a potential for a brawl. We've got two enemies here. We've got a patrol coming over in this direction. Oh, wow. There are a lot of enemies around here. Okay. Okay, so the patrol is going to sit there now. Which is not that bad. What's actually going on with the shots? Who's shooting? Ah! Look at this. Manfred can disguise himself in an infantryman's uniform so that ordinary soldiers will not pay attention to will not pay attention to him. However, watch out for dogs and officers who can't be fooled that easily. Once the uniform is on, it cannot be taken off. Okay, well that's actually a pretty big uh, that's a pretty big caveat right there. So we might have to be very very careful. Okay, I'm going to have to be careful about this guy too. He seems to be very uh very um 
present in this area. Okay, ah, there we go. Wonderful. Can I do a brawl right here? Can I actually do brawl right here? Okay, wait a minute. Let's actually have a look-see and see if this works. Oh, we can do brawl right there. Okay, that's hilarious. That is really, really funny. Okay, so now let's just do this. Come on, come on. Pick up the corpse. Pick up the corpse. Put that in there. Thank you very much. And now we'll run over in this direction. Pick up this bottle. Oh, yes. Things are going to plan, at least at the moment. Let's see where this guy's looking. He's looking across like so, so that shouldn't be too bad. We might be able to go this way. Can we? Yes, we can crawl underneath. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so now... Now we want to go this way. But we want to be... Oh, no. We don't want to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got seen. We got seen. All right, all right. I'm going to have to do this again because I didn't save afterwards, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Let's do this. There we go. Get that guy in there as well. There we are. All right, perfect. And now uh, I'm actually wondering, can I go over this way? Yeah, I can. But where are... Oh, wait a minute. Can I go through here? I'm wondering whether I can go through the, the little gate. If I can go through the little gate, that might be really, really useful for us. But it doesn't seem like it. Anyone sees me? Yeah, that guy. Okay, that guy can see me from here. Hmm. I'd like to be able to jump over the fence, to be honest. That would be absolutely amazing, but that is unfortunately not going to happen. This guy is looking over in that direction as well. Yeah, that's way too difficult for us, in my opinion. Don't think I'm going to be able to do that. We need to clear the area around the barn, as you can see. That's something that we really need to do. So let me see if I can actually do that. Um, yes, Avold was having some issues with the gate, apparently. But uh, yeah, I need to pick up that bottle in a second as well. So I'm just going to wait here for a little bit of time, because obviously we are going to have this fellow... And uh, he's going to wonder where his friends have gone, because obviously they were here having a small little picnic, but uh, now they've now they've disappeared, so he can only hope that they have gone somewhere else. And uh, I think what I'm probably going to try to do is another brawl. We're, we're being given a lot of bottles right now, so the only thing I can really do is brawl and then just hope. Uh, I think... Let me see if I can do this. Brawl is available. I think I can do it. Let's try it. Okay, that actually worked. Uh, I'm, I, I mean, I took damage. Don't, don't get me wrong. I took damage, but that's okay. We have uh, first aid kits as well, apparently. Some, some places do have first aid kits. I am going to have some issues with this guy, though. Because he is going to see this corpse. Almost 100%, I would say. Right? I can't see where he's looking right now, so this might be problematic. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to see the uh, he's gonna see the corpse. That's absolutely fine, though, because he's going to go over there. We can now punch him. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're going to struggle for some reason. He had, he had, he had the blind side. You know, he could have... He could have done it, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so we need Manfred to be able to open this, of course, but that's fine because Avold has completely cleared the way like an absolute beast, as you might expect from, uh, you know, the White Wolf. <laughs> uh, there's a wonderful reference in there for you. But uh, yes, anyway, we can actually go and take these guys. I'm just basically going to clear up the area. And just make sure that we are all good, because you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes people will just come out of nowhere. Maybe there's a bunch of soldiers in the barn. We have no idea. Maybe there are. And uh, I'm wondering where we can actually find some first aid. I don't see any first aid right now. Uh, don't think I see any, at least. But uh, I can basically just leave Avold here, I think don't need to worry about him. So I'm just going to put him in crawl and we're just going to put him in the bushes over there and then we're just going to take Manfred where we need to go. So crawl past here and then it's completely free. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Very, very nicely done in my opinion. Oh, he's actually still standing there. Why is he still standing there? Get the, yeah, I must have double clicked. 
Yeah, double click is, is sprinting, of course, as you know. So, yeah, there are two bottles there as well. I'd love to be able to pick up those two bottles because that would allow us to brawl just that much more. And as you've seen, brawl is very, very powerful. All right, we're pretty good. Manfred is here at the barn. Let's see what is inside. Is that a is that a first aid kit? No. Okay, let's open it up. Hey, Vault, keep lookout. It'll just take a minute. All right. Shit, this chain looks tough. Who's there? Who's there? You're a German. Tell me there's food inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they store everything here. They got me tied up, torturing me with a sight of delicious army rations. You better not lie to me, buddy. Damn, whoever you are. Ah, oh, fuck. What's all that shooting? Executions. He's been going on for three years. They send transports by train. Wait, what? Three years? Yeah, since 41, the Germans have been bringing people to these woods to kill them. For most of the time, my fucking kinsmen were the ones doing it. But... But three years? How often does the train come? How many people on these trains? Tens of thousands. No one keeps track of this. Maybe the SS does. Wait. Aren't you a German? Yeah, but I'm not... Yeah, don't bother explaining. I get it. If you want to get in here, there's an officer near the trucks. He has the key to the padlock. Let me out. I have a plan to sabotage their operation. Wait, you got a plan? Okay, what's your name anyway? Lucas. Lucas. All right. I'll help you out. What is taking so damn long? All right, so it looks as though we're going to need to take out an officer. And that is going to be very, very difficult indeed. There he is, as you can see. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Environmental kill incoming. We might be able to get something going here. That's going to take out these three officers. Well, not officers, but these three soldiers right here and the officer as well, if we can make that work. And we are going to need to... How do we get over there even? Ah, through here. But then there's two people right there. That is that is very, very difficult. That seems very difficult, at least, to me. Yes, well, whatever the case, that is going to be it for this episode. If you would like to check out War Mongrels, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.